Hare Krishna. My name is Mahabhadra Das. I am from ISKCON. Now, generally people ask, why there is so much suffering in the world? Let me to tell you, now this suffering, it all depends upon mental concoction. Apparently, we may think somebody is suffering. It is not exactly. Like, if you see, if you go to a city, you will see a lot of restaurants. In the restaurants, you may see um, big, big board, beer bar. Uh, so, three-star restaurant, five-star restaurant, beer, all meats, all things are served. Now, people go there and enjoy. But, there are some people, they think this is a suffering. And if you offer them this stuff, they will not eat at all. So, how come one is enjoying and other is suffering? So, it all depends upon the mental concoction. Let me give you an example, actually. There was a lame person. Since he is being a lame, uh, he had to struggle. He had to walk a lot. Whereas even the kids, they also pass in front of me. He feels very frustrated, very disgusted. And he is always disturbed. So one day, whenever the people they smile, when they laugh, they crack jokes. He gets very angry. He can't see the happiness anywhere. But if you observe, even the beggars on the street, although apparently it seems they are suffering, but they are not. You look at them, they sometimes crack jokes, they smile, and they are happy. Even the richest of rich person, the smile doesn't come, and they are not happy. How come that uh, uh, somebody is on the street, although apparently suffering, but they are happy? But if you look at some person, and they are in a very good position, but they are also suffering. So this lame person, one, one day he saw at a, at a hill, hilltop, one person is enjoying, one person is laughing, one person is clapping his hand. So, he climbed that hill. It took long time. When he reached the hill, he saw this person is sitting on a boulder and enjoying. So, he asked that person, why are you smiling? Why is it that you are so happy? This person sitting on the boulder said, look at the sky, how bluish. Look at the garden, the greenish. What a beautiful tree. And can you see the birds are flying? So this person, he is like a poet admiring the beauty of the creation, created by the Lord. So he is totally focused into what is good in, in the atmosphere. A normal person doesn't see at the sky, doesn't see at the top, and he is always busy in walking his own. So, this lame person said, look, you are happy just because you possess everything. Look at me, I don't have one leg, and I am a lake. Do you know, it took so many hours to climb this hill. And suddenly, this lame person saw the person who is sitting on the boulder, does not have two legs at all. He was amazed and shocked. Although I don't have one leg, I am disturbed. And this person doesn't have legs at all, and he's so happy. So, don't you think this guy is also suffering? So the suffering depends upon the your mental concoction, how you look into the things. So, if you are happy, everything is happy. One more example I want to give. In South India, there is one temple. That temple happens to be in a pond, in a small pond. The pond is something of one acre, one, one and a half acre. In that pond, there is one crocodile. 
and in crocodile is there and uh, the amazing thing is that this crocodile is a vegetarian can anyone believe that it is still there one can go to the place kumble kumble is the place you go to this place and ask for ananda padmanabha temple still that crocodile is there the pujari takes bath in the uh, this uh, this small uh, pond i also took dip in that pond crocodile is very much there and do you know the crocodile can't walk crocodile only crawls and he crawls in such a way it takes a long time to go to a certain distance but at the same time if his prey is there within the 10 10 feet he can just jump and catch hold of that prey that much strength that crocodile possesses so if that prey is 11 feet he will not jump when he is sure that he is going to catch hold of his prey within split seconds he will catch hold of the prey now look at this crocodile being in this uh, small uh, pond it doesn't harm anyone it takes only prasadam maha prasadam given by the pujari so why is it so one can say this is suffering for a crocodile it is giving message to the people now what is that message look look at me although i am suffering i am not suffering i am in happiness i am in ecstasy i am having prasadam of the lord remnants of the lord and if you take the remnants of lord you will not suffer the suffering is the bodily concept so there are many many examples are there and if you if you see the devotees the externally they may dress in such a way they may walk even the peak of the summer the peak of the winter any unfavorable climate the vaishnavas are always happy they are into the book distribution they will not see their bodily concept so internally they are happy so one must be internally happy if you are focus in krishna you will see no suffering in the world and will be absolutely happy thank you hari krishna